Hey, what's up, everybody? Today, I will give you some instructions on how to run a Monte Carlo simulation in supercomputer. Today, we will use Gibbs Ensemble Monte Carlo simulation to predict the phase diagram of water. And first of all, let's look at our source code. And here we have two folds. One is example, one is source code. So let's look at the source code first. And here we have our source code, which is programmed by Fortran 90. And the first of all, we have to compile our code. And we need a make fire. Let's look at a make fire. And we will use iFortran to compile our code and we will change our output executable as gibbs.x which means executable and here is how it looks like you can find more information in google let's save it and to use ifortran we have to source the compiler address first. Sorry, we have to use this one. Yes. And we type make command. It's making, it's compiling right now. And we will use ifot. The ifot command invokes the Intel Fortran compiler that is designed to process, compile, assemble, and link Fortran programs on Intel-based system. And for more information for this iFort compiler, you can search the Intel Fortran Building Application Guide. And you can also use GFortran, but in my experience, Intel Fortran is almost always faster than GFortran, and often significantly fast. So we use iFort here, and this compiling process might take a little bit long time. So let's wait. Okay. It seems it is finished. And let's move the output fire. Okay, we here we see the gibbs.x, which is our executable program. And we copy our executables to our example folds. Okay, here we will use a water model to predict the, we'll use this Gibbs Ensemble Monte Carlo simulation to predict the phase diagram of water. And typically for a Monte Carlo simulation, you will need input fire. But the input fire is highly depend on your source code and it vary from one another. So here, let's look at our info file first. Let's keep some symbol. We use NVT ensemble and temperature is 450 Kelvin. And the format of this info file is depend on your source code. And before you run your simulation, you have to read the manual or the source code first to figure out how to write the info file. And we use platform load sharing facility, aka RSF, here to run our job. And RSF is a workload management platform, job, uh, job scheduler for distributed HPC environments. It can be used to execute batch jobs on networked Unix and Windows system on many different architectures. So let's first look out, uh, check out our 
subscript uh, the script for MC simulation. This is our queue to run simulation, and the number of nodes for job, the total war time. And this is the standard output fire, and this is standard arrow fire. And we will write job details to the output fire. And here we run our executables. And typically for a for your simulation, you need input fire. And here the data dot dat is our input fire standard input fire. And we will write our results to the output dot text. So everything's ready. So we can type the b sub, which is the sub job command for RSF system and we use the input sign and type the MC script and enter the job is submitted to Q and let's use the B jobs command to see our job status and here we can see the status a job is running and it might type takes a little bit long time which is which depends on your simulation which depends on the the size of your simulation actually and here we have our output fire output text the standard arrow and standard output fire here and if your simulation is uh, got something wrong you will see the information in the simulation arrow fire. Okay, that's it. If you have any questions, just put your commands in the videos and I will reply to you ASAP. Thank you very much.